Welcome back to another episode. Today, I want to talk about the biggest threat to your beautiful suits. This is not something I hear people talk about, but if you own suits, and I think you do, you need to hear about this. Because you see, in my practice, I have seen more suits damaged this way than any other way. I hear of my customers losing their suits due to having left them behind in airports or through luggage theft. I hear of them being totaled due to their domestic helpers or well-meaning parents who are visiting, putting the suits into the washing machine. I keep seeing mechanical damage due to snagging on sharp objects and the like. But the biggest source of damage to suits comes from moths. The common moth, also known as the clothes moth, is a flying insect. It is small at 6 to 7 millimeters in length. It has a pale straw color. Unlike the mosquito or the fly which seeks you out and buzzes around you or sucks your blood, the common moth has no interest in humans. It minds its own business. Because of that, we don't notice them. Moths have a keen sense of smell tuned to detect two things. One, the opposite sex, and two, food. Food in this case being natural fibers, in particular wool. But silk is also interesting to them. But the moth doesn't eat the wool. In fact, the moth has no mouth to feed with. The moth has only one purpose in life, and that is to reproduce. After mating, the female moth lays eggs in clusters of up to 200 eggs. It is picky about where it lays those eggs. It seeks out an edible substrate. In this case, that's your suit. The larva is the one that does all the eating. It starts feeding immediately after hatching and will continue feeding for several weeks. Though small, it has sharp teeth that can cut through even tough synthetic fibers to get to the natural fibers. So how do we stop them? There are two approaches. One, you repel them. Two, you kill them. But you need to realize we are dealing with almost two species of insects, not one. Because the adult moth flying around is a very different insect than the larva that is munching through your cashmere overcoat. Repelling only works when they are in the adult stage. The traditional solution is to use mothballs. But some people really don't like the smell, and some worry about the potential toxicities. Mothballs are pure naphthalene nowadays, and naphthalene has been banned in the EU since 2008, but are still available everywhere in Malaysia. If you do use mothballs, here's a tip. Instead of breaking open the packaging and spreading the balls around on the bottom of your closet, you just puncture the packaging in a few spots. But let me let you in on something. Anything that works in repelling mosquitoes works in repelling adult moths. So these and these will keep moths away. If you notice adult moths around the floor near your closet, use these to exterminate them. If you notice any adult moths whatsoever, it is imperative that you start killing the eggs and larva that may be on your garments. To kill them, we use the fact that proteins denature at temperatures above 41 degrees Celsius. You can heat up your garments to this temperature in two ways. One, you sun them outside in the afternoon sun, or two, you press them with a hot iron. Another way is to send them for dry cleaning. So let me summarize. Moths are the biggest threat to your suits. You can eliminate them by using mosquito repellent near your closet. If you find even one moth in your house, it is a good idea to kill any potential eggs or larva on your garments. You do this by thoroughly heating the garments to above 41 degrees Celsius. So there you have it. Threat eliminated. Till the next one.